Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uda Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to do a split AC wiring. Okay, so before I start this session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming video. So let's get started. So here we have a, a split type AC. So this is the indoor unit and this is the outdoor unit. And these are the TB. We can say terminal block for wire connection. And this is also terminal block for outdoor unit where we can connect the cables. And this is the main breaker for power supply of this indoor and outdoor units and this is the isolator to isolate the power between this breaker and ac okay we can simply say this is a switch now let's do the wiring so here we have a 220 volt ac single phase supply source where we have a live terminal neutral and g means grounding or we can say earthing okay so let's start from here let's take a wire so this is a phase wire or you can say live wire and from the output of this breaker phase wire will be connected to this isolator and from this isolator it goes to the l1 terminal of means live terminal of this outdoor unit now this unit also need a neutral so again from neutral let's take a wire so this is the black wire from the output of it it will connect it to the again dp switch isolator here at input side now from the output side again black wire goes to the outdoor unit terminal block at neutral one okay now we have to connect the earthing or grounding for safety so here we have a ground terminal so from here let's take a wire green wire and it will connect it to the terminal block of this outdoor unit at G terminal means grounding terminal. So up to here we have provided phase wire, neutral wire and earthing. Now outdoor unit got phase, neutral and earthing. Actually at a TB internally this terminal will be connected. Okay. Internally this is connected. So this terminal are for indoor units. So now we will provide the power supply to the indoor unit from this outdoor unit tb so let's take a wire from l2 tb and it will keep to the indoor unit power terminal block so this is the l now from neutral also will provide and it will go to neutral terminal block of this indoor unit and grounding same from here you can look it will go to indoor unit tv block of this grounding terminal okay so up to here indoor unit also got phase neutral and earthing so one more wire will be connected from indoor unit to outdoor unit which one is communication wire or we can say it is a control wire so from the indoor unit goes to outdoor unit control wire terminal so in this way we can do the wiring for indoor and outdoor only at terminal block now let's do the internal wiring so this is the simple we can connect it power terminal block of this outdoor unit and this indoor unit simply now let's go into the detail of this outdoor wiring from this terminal to inside component okay which are compressor condenser fan okay similarly for indoor units now let's move into outdoor wiring so first let's brief these all components internal components so this is the breaker for power supply and this is the outdoor unit terminal block for all these wire connection and this is the two pole magnetic contactor and this is the capacitor for this compressor a starting capacitor we can say okay and these are the terminal for compressor common starting and running and this is the condenser fan capacitor and this is the condenser fan where we have a terminal common starting and running okay and these this is the pressure switch high pressure switch and low pressure switch for safety reason okay and this is the terminal block for this pressure switch okay 
these are the components which is used in outdoor unit of split AC so now let's start the wiring so from here as you know that here we have a 220 volt AC supply source single phase okay so from here let's take a phase wire or live wire from here and connect it to the input terminal of this breaker and from the output terminal of this breaker it will goes to the terminal block of this outdoor unit and from the terminal block of the outdoor unit it will goes to the input of this input terminal of this contactor now from the output terminal of this contactor it will goes to the directly common terminal of this compressor so we always connect phase wire phase wire or live wire at the common of this compressor common terminal of the compressor so at common terminal we have connected phase wire now let's come to the neutral so again from here let's take a neutral wire and from the output of it it will goes to the neutral terminal of this outdoor unit now from here it will goes to the magnetic contactor from the output of this magnetic contactor it will goes to the capacitor so this is the compressor starting capacitor so we'll connect it to the first terminal of this capacitor now from here we can loop wire and it will connect to the running winding of this compressor okay now one is remain which one is starting wire so from the other terminal of this capacitor will directly connect it to the starting winding or a starting terminal of this compressor so up to here we have completed the wiring for this compressor now come to the condenser fan wiring so here again so for ground wire we can always connect at ground terminal of this outdoor unit block so here we have connected okay so this is for safety reason we always connect with the earthing terminals now to do the condenser wiring again from the output of this contactor let's take a phase wire or live wire and directly given to the common terminal of this condenser fan okay we always give phase supply at common terminal of the single phase motor we can say this is the simply a single phase motor okay now to start the uh, single phase motor we always need a capacitor a starting capacitor that's why we have to implement the capacitor between starting winding okay now uh, let's do the neutral wiring so again from the output of this contactor let's take a wire and it will connect to the one terminal of this capacitor and from the here let's loop a wire and directly given to the running winding okay so we can directly give the neutral to the running winding now for a starting winding we always connect from other terminal of this capacitor and it will goes to the starting winding of this condenser fan so up to here we have completed compressor wiring and condenser fan wiring okay now here we can say this is the power wiring. now how we can operate this contactor so we always need 220 volt or 24 volt for operate the this contactor at a coil supply terminal so we need to give the phase supply to the coil supply terminal so here this is the a1 and this is the a2 okay so this is the coil supply terminal of this contactor so with the help of this we we can only operate the contactor now we can do the control wiring so for control wiring as you know that control wire comes from indoor unit okay indoor unit relay so we'll look into detail in indoor wiring okay so from here we can uh, give the phase supply to indoor unit as well from the output uh, outdoor unit terminals neutral and then our thing okay now the control wiring will come from indoor unit terminals okay from relay so here so it a1 we give the neutral from here we loop from here and we give the okay, neutral over here now this will also need a phase supply so now with the help of this control wire will take a power from indoor unit relay and it will connect 
to the control wire terminal of this outdoor unit now from here it will goes to the tv this is the uh, terminal block for pressure switch now at this end will connect and from other end will take a wire and it will goes to the this end of terminal of high pressure switch now from high pressure of other terminal let's take a wire and it will connect to this terminal now from here tv will loop and at the output side it will goes again to the low pressure switch first terminal from the output of this low pressure switch it will again goes to this tv okay so actually it is internally connected now from the output of this terminal finally it will connect it to the a2 terminal of this contactor coil supply terminal of this contactor okay so these two switches are for protection okay so up to here we have completed the wiring okay outdoor wiring if we talk about uh, pressure switch so these two pressure switch are for safety reason in case of high pressure it, it will cut off the power supply means it will uh, switch off this magnetic contactor it will disconnect the magnetic contactor so this will stop the compressor and condenser okay so high pressure switch is always installed or fixed on discharge side of this compressor and low pressure is always will fix at suction side okay now come to indoor wiring so in indoor units basically this is the pcb okay so everything is internally connected over here now let's focus on this part relay part and uh, if and always have a connector for all remaining device okay so here power comes from outdoor unit phase wire neutral wire okay and this is the ground terminal okay now neutral is directly given at this terminal at pcb we have a neutral terminal so we'll directly connect it over here now for the phase wire we'll give to the relay so this is the relay ano contact actually three and four number is ano contact of this relay so we'll connect this phase wire over here at three number now from the four number we'll take a wire actually now this is the control wire which is going to outdoor unit okay contactor coil supply from here okay this is going to outdoor unit side and it will connect to the a2 side of this magnetic contactor now this relay will operate the contactor or we can say output compressor and outdoor compressor and condenser fan with the help of this relay internally actually what happened phase and neutral is given to this transformer at primary side then secondary side it will step down to the 12 volt so this is the step down transformer so wherever 12 volt needed it will go internally through this pcb okay and this is the uh, room sensor to uh, sense the room temperature actually so rtd type sensor will be used resistant temperature detector and this is the pipe sensor for coil evaporated coil sensor okay and this is for swing motor for uh, to operate the louvers of this indoor unit and this is the display where we can so always have a connector okay so don't worry about to connect connection of this sensor with the help of connector we, we can easily connect it over here so displays always have a also connector similarly for evaporator fan so this is blower fan we can say for indoor unit so here we have a common terminal starting and running so for this also uh, at common terminal we always give a phase supply so we have a um, three types of speed over here selection mode low medium and high so from here we'll give the here we have a terminal for this so for this low then medium then hi from now for the wiring of uh, starting and running we always need a for starting we always need a capacitor so this is the evaporator fan capacitor to complete the wiring for evaporator fan or blower motor so this is the uh, capacitor for a starting capacitor for evaporator fan so from here let's take a neutral wire and given to the 
running winding and for a starting winding we always connect from other terminal of this capacitor and it will connect to the starting winding actually it will internally connected through this pcb and it will goes to this terminal so in this way we can do the wiring for a split ac indoor and outdoor so actually how it works if we uh, observe that this relay will operated through this room temperature sensor as well as this pipe sensor okay so suppose when uh, suppose we set our room temperature 15 degree celsius in cool mode okay so when our room is at 18 degree or 20 degree at that time what happened this relay will get close and no contact become a nc now this phase supply will goes to the contactor sub contactor of outdoor unit so at this time contactor will be pick up means switch on and this will switch on the both compressor as well as condenser fan now when our room temperature gets reached at 15 degree celsius at that time what happened this relay will be get deactivated means it become anno it will switch off the contactor and then to compressor and condenser so in this way actually this split unit works in auto mode so non-inverter type unit is always unit compressor or condenser fan is always run in full speed however in inverter type ac compressor and condenser fan it will always vary the speed according to this room temperature okay that's why this is a inverter type is more energy efficient type of ac we can save the more electricity built from inverter type ac okay as compared to non-inverter so in next video we'll discuss about inverter type ac okay now let's talk about little bit this high pressure and low pressure switch as you know that when relay is activated when the room temperature is suppose if we set 15 degree celsius now room temperature is 20 it means relay is activated and power is coming from relay through this control wire and it will goes to this high pressure switch so as you know that this high pressure switch is always close sorry always close and this is initially it is open but due to uh but due to uh pressure so it always goes through this control supply through this over here okay in case of high pressure it will disconnect the power supply from indoor unit and it will stop it immediately so this will protect the compressor and condenser fan both in case of high pressure and low pressure okay so in this way we can do the wiring for a split ac indoor and outdoor so hope you guys understand about a split ac wiring so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video